Hi y'all, welcome back. It has been two months. It has been too long. I have not made a video in a very, very long time. Um, so this is just kind of a quick post-op skin removal surgery update for you guys. Um, I wanted to post this like months, weeks ago. Um, I just never did it. And I was really, really regret like not following my journey throughout this whole recovery process. Um, but it's just something I didn't end up doing like I had planned originally. So let me get started. First off, I am now currently almost 11 weeks post-op from a Fleur de Lis tummy tuck to remove five pounds of um, excess skin, repair a hernia, and um, tighten my abdominal wall muscles um so they were able to cut me from breastbone to pubic and then um they also cut me hip to hip and like i said um they removed five pounds of loose skin um and i also did liposuction on my um outer thighs here because i was worried about the proportionate um my legs have always been like a major issue for me so I did go ahead and pay out of pocket for liposuction and they removed two and a half pounds um, all together from both sides of my thighs of nothing but fat um, so that was awesome and I'm super super happy with those results my current weight 175 pounds yeah same exact weight I went into surgery with um, it's a little bit of a bummer. I did drop down to 169 at one point. Then I had like a cheat weekend over Mother's Day. Haven't been back since. Um, I'm currently fluctuating between like 172 and 175. Just, it's been going back and forth, back and forth. So, no real more weight loss. I'm currently in like, I think this is like my fifth month of being 175. Uh, my original weight, uh, goal weight was 170, but ideally now my new goal is to get to like the 160s. Um, I would like to lose 15 more pounds eventually, but you know, my struggles. I have a list here and that's where I'm just like grabbing these ideas from. Huh. My current struggles, number one, is that I have not been able to be in the gym at all i take that back i've been to the gym a couple of times um i haven't been in the gym nearly as much as i would like to um right now i can only really do legs and arms um i'm going to attempt in my first ab workout tonight actually um but i'm still very sore my abs like my ab muscles just aren't there um like they were because obviously they were like sewn together and they're still readjusting um so that's been hard for me because i was like super into the gym before my surgery and that was like my biggest fear was i was going to lose my gym motivation and it's happened um but i've been starting to do workouts here at home just because my husband's schedule has been off and normally we go to the gym together and we actually just bought bikes um, yesterday and so we've been doing bike rides the last two days which has been so amazing to do as well so I'm still staying active as much as I can but definitely not nearly where I would like to be and I know I'm still like 11 weeks post-op from this surgery but um, I was really expecting to be a little bit further in my uh, progression with all this Another struggle I have been having is my weight and my eating. Um, I'm still like keto, um, low carb keto. I have been going off track um, a lot, but then getting right back into it, which I know isn't helping my situation at all. Um, but I'm kind of in that state where I'm like, I can be a little bit more lenient now. But at the same time, like, I can't be a little bit more lenient. Um, so I'm still trying to just figure things out. Uh, yeah. My, I just need to get my things on track. It's been a little bit of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. My eating has been good, but, like, 
if we go out and do things especially because it's summertime like i've been enjoying a little bit of ice cream and like going out to eat with the family and you know things here and there uh new goals though my new goal is obviously to get back into the gym duh i want to get back into the gym um, I want to get more fit and more toned, especially now that I don't have all that skin hiding all the crap um, that I couldn't see before. And I really want to get to my new ideal weight of like 160. So I want to lose another 15 pounds, mostly in my thighs. But you know, we'll see what happens and where it goes. Keto helped me lose a lot of my weight here. And I have lost a lot in my legs too. I'm going to do a loose skin update. Um... At the end of this as well um but like keto totally targeted my stomach i had like less than one percent of fat in the skin of my stomach when they removed it and so um i just need to try to work on other areas now uh, my arms are not a problem but i would still like to tone up and um just be get more active and get back into the gym and just keep going and be a more fit me new upload schedule i know i'm kind of trying to just run through this because like i don't want to bore you guys and i feel a little awkward because i haven't been posting videos in two months so i'm kind of like out of my game my setup is super nifty right now i need to get a new setup we're just going with it okay um new upload schedule is going to be wednesdays and sundays um so this video is uploaded on a Wednesday by the time you are seeing this so my next video is going to be on Sunday and it's going to be a um, really yummy dip recipe um, I've noticed that I do a lot of sweet stuff so if you don't know me personally I used to be a cake decorator cake is my love I quit doing cake decorating now I'm doing sugar cookie um, decorated sugar cookies which I love a lot more and I'm not as tempted to eat <laughs> um, and so so sweets kind of appeal to me um so i'm gonna try and do more like dinner ideas um i my husband did decide to switch to a low carb lifestyle with me like a month ago and so um because our girls are still young they kind of eat whenever they want to and so we are currently doing a meal prep um so i've been meal prepping a bunch of stuff and we just eat through that throughout the week. Once it's gone, I just re-meal prep. Um, so I, I've noticed I've been doing that like every Sunday and like Thursday. Like I know that doesn't really sound to add up, but I do like four at a time for each of us. Um, so I was going to do a meal prep video. So if you guys are interested. Okay, sorry guys. I'm not sure where my camera cut me off. Um, but a month ago my husband decided to do um, start a low carb lifestyle with me um, so I've kind of been meal prepping our girls are still pretty young um, so their eating schedule isn't like Monday or breakfast lunch and dinner um, they kind of just eat when they want to snack when they want to because um, to be honest it's not ideal but it's the easiest thing I was wasting so much food trying to like do a schedule and it just wasn't working out so now that my husband is doing a low carb style, low carb lifestyle with me, um, I have been meal prepping. I've been doing like four meal preps um, for the each of us, and then once those run out, I just re meal prep. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video on that, I will be doing something like that in the future. Um, just I'm open to ideas, tons and tons of ideas. Um, if you have them, shoot them my way um, because. Like I said, I tend to go towards more of the sweets, and if you like seeing that stuff, please let me know. If you want to see more savory stuff, please let me know. More things throughout my day, let me know. Anything, just anything. Let me know what you guys want to see. So, new upload schedule is going to be Wednesdays and Sundays. Also, my scar update. Um, let me fix the camera and I will give you guys a scar update. Alrighty guys, so this is what I look like now. I'm sitting at probably like 175. Um, I do have some bloating right here um, just from eating and being active today. It's some bloating, a little bit of swelling still. 
um, which is going to happen for a while. You can see my lower incision um, all the way here. I'm super happy with it. It doesn't bother me. I can hide it. it it's hidden super easy. And then here is my middle one. My belly button is looking good. It's healing all healed up nicely. It goes up pretty high. So that is my scar update. I am supposed to be using this micro pore tape and um, I have been using scar away silicone gel. Um, I kind of alternate between the two some days. This doesn't really stick to me anymore. And so on those days, I'll end up using this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a while before it like really fades. Um, but it's it's pretty flat. Um, it's not like rigid or anything. I'm really happy with how my belly button looks. The only thing I'm not happy with is the fact that it is a little crooked here on the top. And where I had so yeah I would say the only part about this that I don't like is right here I have these crazy stretch marks I don't know if you guys can see them but you can just tell how they pulled my skin in so they like took this area out that I used to be able to like pull you know you remember I used to be able to just go like this and just like pull it I can't there's like nothing left left to pull um, so they just took that whole space and then they brought it together. Um, I do wish they would have brought it together a little bit more to take these stretch marks away. But whatever. It's just something I'm going to have to live with. Um, they're stretch marks from babies. I just don't like how they just like, you know, dive in to the center like that. Um, but yeah, other than that. I'm supposed to still be wearing compression and stuff, but honestly, I just can't handle the compression. Um, it's super hot. It's like summertime. Super hot. And um, I just can't. Um, I can't do it. It was getting annoying. It was causing problems and irritation and all that jazz. So, loose skin update. Um, obviously, I don't have... I mean, I have... This isn't really loose skin, though. This is just like flab it's just skin whatever that doesn't bother me it doesn't annoy me or anything I'm pulled in pretty tightly um but now it's my thighs so you guys can see look at that muscle definition but you can see I have so much loose skin on my thighs um this did not bother me before my surgery and it, this was something that I knew was going to bother me after which is why I did the lipo on the outer thighs um, but the only way that it can be corrected I was told was with a 360 body lift and that's just not something I'm willing to do um, my I'll be com completely blunt and honest y'all my butt is deflated like it's just skin it's um it's sad. I used to have a nice butt. At least not nice. I've always hated my butt, but like, yeah, no. It was full, and now it's not as full. It's just skin. Um, so yeah. I have some, have a nice tan going on. I do have some good muscle definition. Um, and it sucks because I feel like it's hidden by all the skin, and I know that is so weird, but like, it's just the reality. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's something I'm just gonna have to deal with. Um, I really noticed it the other day when I was doing wall sits. Um, it just kinda like hung down. So you guys can see, if I stretch out my leg, it's just a lot. It just hangs down. Um, so there you have it. That's a loose skin update for you. I just have it on my thighs, um, but it's not something I'm going to do. I do have loose skin on my arms. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, and I feel like my arms are pretty toned. I mean, I have a shirt on, but you know, they're, they're not big. Um, but yeah, guys, I think 
yeah i think that's it i hope you guys liked this super weird awkward update because that's just who i am i'm an awkward freaking person and i hope you guys continue to follow along with me i'm sorry that i took a two month break um i've told my husband like dozens of times i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna make a video <laughs> Um, I was updating though on my social medias, Facebook and Instagram, so if you want to follow me down below, you can. I'll have my uh, Instagram and Facebook names there where you can go search for me and find me. Um, but I was updating so much on those, like every week, that I felt like I was kind of just repeating myself to people who maybe didn't want to hear it and didn't care. Whatever. So, that's it. I'm 11 weeks post that from my skin removal hernia repair surgery. Um, I lost a total of 120 pounds of keto at my lowest weight. I'm currently sitting at 115 pounds um, total loss. I started at 288 pounds. Um, or I, I didn't start keto at 288 pounds. My highest weight recorded um, that I know of was 288 pounds. Um, I started keto at 255 pounds, um, so yeah, in like a year and a half, um, I still have weight loss struggles. Everybody's gonna have that. Um, weight loss is not linear, y'all. It's, it's a struggle, and it's just like something you have to go through to like fully understand, like, you think like when you're overweight, you're just gonna lose all the weight, and it's just gonna be like handy dandy and stuff. Me, um, I didn't realize that I was going to lose the weight and then have all these loose skin problems. Um, my legs don't bother me, but they do get in the way, like riding my bike. You know, you can imagine my loose skin just like flaps against the seat. Gross. That's so gross. But it's true. It happens and it's real freaking life. Um, my loose skin on my stomach was causing yeast rashes um, in my belly button. It was adding extra weight on to my workouts. Um, and it was, it was gross and painful when I sat and it would get stuck in my jeans, all the things. So, just remember, like, you are not alone in weight loss. It is such a journey. I never really thought about it until I, like, am at this point and I'm still, like, I'm still going through it. Just because I had um, my skin removed does not mean that like my journey's ended. Doesn't mean I'm done. Um, just because I have a flat stomach doesn't mean that I can just go crazy and just eat whatever I want because that's not true. Like I still need to be fit and like watch what I eat and be a healthier me. Um, yeah, I think that's it guys. I just want you guys to know that it is so possible whether you decide to go the surgery route or not. Um, like I said, the only reason why I did surgery is because of the hernia, and my insurance was amazing and covered it for me. Um, and so that took a lot of stress off, and, um, you know, that's why I did it. But some people don't, and that's fine. If you're comfortable in the skin you're in, literally, in the skin you're in, that's all that matters. Um, I'm still working on that self-love, um, so I hope you guys love yourselves too, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.